Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello halal family, welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful uh, day In today's video we're going to be unboxing a new chair As some of you might uh, know my uh, current office chair or work chair is uh, pretty old now So I recently just uh, got a new uh, chair and today we're going to be unboxing it and showing it to you guys So stay tuned guys, we'll be right back Welcome back guys, let's get started with our unboxing. So this is from uh, Autonomous uh, Argo Chair 2, all black. Really, really cool. I'm gonna put the link to their website in the description. And there's also a uh, promotional code for uh, Halal Family. If you use Mr. Halal, you get 5% off. 5% off in addition to any other specials that they might have so check them out because right now is the perfect time to get yourself a new chair because they have some deals and you can take advantage of it ordering through their website was really easy just a couple of clicks and uh, they told me actually that i was supposed to get it uh, last friday but subhanallah i got it two days before on the wednesday which was really nice uh, the only thing was i just didn't have time to unbox it You know what I found uh, really cool with them was that when I uh, received uh, the chair, I got an email from them that uh, we have uh, been notified that you received your chair. Here's a link on how to assemble your uh, chair, which was really, really cool. I'll include that video in the link too, so you guys can check it out. Uh, in case you do purchase a chair, you know ahead of time how to put it together. So here's our box. Beside uh, the video that they send you there's some steps as well so, so here we got five of the wheels I think this is the sides where you put your hand on here's another one here's from autonomous hi we're happy that you joined the works matter movement tag us at autonomous uh, do T to share great ideas you're working on. We're sure our community of over 100k like minded innovators would love to hear about it. Have an amazing day! It's really cool. And then we got our uh, basically manual or the steps how to put the chair together. Then we got our tool set, which actually has the uh, tool as well of how to basically to use to put everything together which makes it simple. You don't have to go searching for a screwdriver or an Allen key or whatnot. So here's our box is done. We're going to slowly assemble them. Okay, so let's open our uh, instruction manual. So here it tells us the first page how many of each pieces we should have. Okay, step one, we gotta put the base together. So for the base, we need this star along with the five wheels. So this is really easy. Just take the bubble wrap, pull the bubble wrap out. Okay, let's put it on the floor so we can just easily put it together. Just make sure you have a knife or a scissor with you. Just with some of uh, these packaging, you can easily cut it open. Okay, so we got our first wheel and it's just better you basically just pop it in well actually once you put it on the floor and you just angle it it's really easy to push it and I think I wasn't doing it properly so you just put it on the ground one side down the side you want to put the wheel in maybe hold it with your knee and then just basically push it in So we got the five wheels on. The next step, these ones, they call it casters, the wheels. So first step, it said to insert the casters uh, and step two is insert the gas lift to the base. So this is the 
Oh, that's just a plastic grip. This is the gas lift. So just want to see. So this side is going to be top. This little side is going to be bottom. So the black piece is going to go in. And then the silver piece and the white piece are going to be to the top. So you just basically put it like that and stays in there. You don't even need to push it or, or think like, you know, how much you have to push it in or whatnot. You just drop it and it just sits in. Okay, so now we got to put the base together. We got the base, just going to grab a scissor and cut the tape. And just like a bag or a pouch, we're going to open it. Bismillah. Okay, so we got the base. So here it says front. So we just have to look at our uh, instruction and see what it says. So it doesn't really say whether you're putting it front or not. Um, just basically shows how to connect them. Actually, no, it, it does. There's a little bit line. Although it doesn't say there's a line and there's also a line here. You can see right here. You see there's a line it goes from here to there. So basically it means front away from you. So we're going to put the front away from us like so. And then we're going to grab our tools. So as this, you can use, it says you can use a screwdriver, but since we got the tool and I don't have a screwdriver with me, I don't want to go get a screwdriver if I already have a tool, right? So you can take this, which is called M. And then they tell us to use K screws and N washers. Okay, so K, the screws are the corner ones and N or D. So here's N and here's K. We need one, two, three, six of each. Okay, bismillah. Okay, so just like so, we let it hang from the side. Align the screws and then just drop them right into the hole. Okay, so we finished the base. Okay, now we're gonna look at the next step. So now we have to put the base assembly together. We have to put it on the base. So I'm just going to flip this over and still have front that way. And uh, here is our, they call it the control mechanism, which is this big and heavy thing. Oh wow, this is I think the most heaviest part of this chair. So I got my handy scissor, okay, okay. Just be careful guys so it doesn't slip because it's heavy. You don't want to damage it or you don't want to hurt yourself or damage the chair. So these parts, I think you can slide them out. One of them I could, the other one maybe I might just need to cut the tape. Okay, there we go. Okay, because these parts are sharp, like they have a little bit of an edge to them, that's why they have it wrapped so doesn't get stuck on stuff one and also you don't uh, hurt yourself on it. On top of it, there's a la label that says front goes this way. So it's just going to make it easier for me. All I have to do is just basically put it like this, like that, because this hole is where the base is going to go. So we have it I'm just going to align it. Beautiful. It's aligned. And then I'm just going to check out step five is asking me to use Hey guys, I actually made a mistake when I put the uh, armrest together. This is the uh, P, which has a little bit of like it's broken. You can see like a washer. This one is a straight one. 
has no broken pieces so I mix the two together instead of using N which is this washer I used P for uh, the armrest so I actually went around and I changed them all and that noise when you're tightening it should not be there it's actually not normal to have that uh, noise if you have that noise that means you're using the wrong washer so now this mechanism is actually going to use those other washers that I just took out so those are the P washer so we need the P washer as well as I think they mean the O washer because if you look at the diagram it actually shows a rectangle so I'm guessing that's O you guys see that so we need to use the L screw the P washer which is basically has kind of like a teeth and I think the next one is O because I don't have any other ones. Okay, nice. So now we're going to so now we're going to put the back together. We need the three other small screws, which is asking for the eye. Okay. Okay, I, three of them, and then three of the P washers, the one with the teeth, and then three of the O washers, which are just without any teeth. So basically this piece will go under the little part that's hanging from the base, and then the screws will go from the top. Beautiful. Okay, so now what I need to do is put this on top of the base. Okay, so we got everything in. And now the last part is the headrest. So there's some styrofoam there. You remove it and then you align the headrest. Just drop it in. And then there's two screws, J, that go in from the bottom, from the back. All right, guys, and that was the unboxing and putting together of this uh, beautiful chair. So it's awesome. As you can see, I can basically adjust the neck. And it has, uh, you can see, you can recline quite a bit with it. And then, you know, just rest. It's really comfortable. The back, you have back support. My neck has good support. And uh, it's breathable. Like, you know, you don't get sweaty on it because it's not leather right and it has a good you can feel it's good quality it's comfortable and it's breathable and you know so this allows you to just move the back not the whole chair so so this allows you to move it back and forth right but in case you wanted to lock it right a certain amount so you see it it doesn't move but now if i open it up I can recline and then I can lock it from I can lock it from here and this where is it will allow me to still move it a little bit so you see in case you want to come comfortable so it gives you a little bit of more adjustment room just a little bit right but if you want it more or you want to free right like in case you basically want to relax you don't want it to keep moving up and down right up and down so you go to your comfortable spot you lock it and now you still have a little bit of room to move around you know it supports you it's not tough but if you want it to be tough there now it doesn't move you see so lots of cool switches lots of options for you you know depends how you want to use it right and uh, it's perfect because for me I work from home I sit on my chair quite a bit and uh, I need something like this the other cool thing is the armrests not only do they go up and down they also go side to side so if you wanted to you know have a little bit more room to rest your hands sit bigger you can do that if you want to sit a little bit small just bring them back in and you can do that as well feels really really nice really comfortable it's awesome so uh this company guys it's called autonomous 
This chair is Argo Chair 2. And uh, really, really comfortable. I love it. Really good quality. Um, if you guys uh, are in the market for a chair, check them out. Head over to their website. I'll put it in the description. Um, they have some uh, deals right now. And on top of that, you can use my promo code, Mr. Halal, and you get an additional 5% off. So thank you very much, guys, for, for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, let me know if you guys uh, have this chair or you're planning on getting it or if you like this uh, unboxing. So I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. And inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Let's sit.